Well, hello. It's good to see you. Here we are in game five of the original edition. Now, I want to remind you we have the original edition, the quick edition, and the challenge edition. But before I do that, let me point out, at the end of the uh, game, you'll see a note saying, please help keep us alive. You can certainly go to either patreon.com or donorbox.org and support Old Timers Trivia. It'll help keep the game alive. And thank you for your support. Now, the original edition, multiple choice questions. We run through uh, seven questions per round, three rounds, and then a bonus question. Uh, this is the game that we play with friends. Um, the choices, again, they have multiple, multiple answers to select from. There are a number of pauses and delays in the original edition to give you time to discuss among yourselves. I'm assuming that you're playing in teams. That's what we do. Um, in some cases, we've got the husband and wife. Sometimes it's a solo person on another team uh, and so forth but we delay so that people can uh, discuss among themselves before coming to a, a conclusion and an answer. And then at the end of each round, we have a delay for tallying points. Um, now, the quick edition eliminates all those delays. It's built with the idea that you're playing on your own and you don't wanna have these delays. So uh, the quick edition runs through the game much more quickly as it suggests. And then we have the challenge edition. The challenge edition is really the same game um, as the original edition with the delays, but uh, in this case we've eliminated in many of the questions the options, the multiple answers. Some of them of course we've included uh, because the question wouldn't make sense otherwise or wouldn't be limited but many of the questions we've not provided answers and uh, for you who want the challenge edition there it is okay we'll move ahead we start out with two example questions just so you can make sure you're seeing everything correctly and then we move into the game our setup sample our second setup sample And now we begin for real. Here you go. You were dancing in the 60s. Which of these was not a dance of the 60s? I'm sure four of the five you did dance to. Maybe even the fifth for all I know. But no, four of the five are dances of the 60s. And which one was not? Which of the following was not a Civil War prison camp? Four of the five were, one was not. Moving on. The first talking motion picture was You remember this one? Well, many of us were probably pretty young when this came out. Or maybe a twinkling in the eye of somebody. Okay, here's a curious one. We have a number of science fiction shows what we've given you is the actual air date in the United States and the year the program was set in. So, of course, they were set in the future, but one of these is incorrect. All shows you remember 
recently. I've been watching some of these, in fact, um, or at least a couple of them. Okay. We've met the enemy and he is us. Who said that? A classic quote. We've met the enemy and he is us. What is an ocarina? These longer ones, I like to give you some time just to read through them. The Ocarina. Time's winding down. No. Tammy Faye and Jim Baker appeared on which of the following shows? Another of those easy questions for you. Okay. Answers for round one. Don't recall any dance called the space hop. We had the swim, the twist, the watusi, and the funky chicken. Which was not a Civil War prison camp? Well, Camp Harmony in Washington. In fact, Camp Harmony was a prison camp, but um, for World War II. First motion picture was The Jazz Singer. Probably you knew that one. Uh, Plain Crazy, of course, was the Oh, I have to go back and look to make sure. I think it was the first Mickey Mouse. It was a Mickey Mouse Walt Disney cartoon, and it was very early and probably the first of the Mickey Mouse cartoons. Okay, now this one should have, if you know these shows, probably been a straightforward one. Um, oh, we have, of course, from Battlestar Galactica, Commander Adama in the top picture, um, obviously not in his outfit, and an older picture of the character Starbuck. Uh, they did a remake, by the way, of Battlestar Galactica. It's one of the only remakes that I really enjoyed. I always get troubled by these remakes. But in fact, if you remember the storyline, they were not, they did not originate from Earth, and, um, and so we would have no, no knowledge of when, uh, what the star date was from Earth's perspective, um, and uh, the original series, they never really concluded. Well, I'll take that back. Uh, they had a second series. Uh, the original one had no real conclusion. They never reached Earth. They revitalized the show uh, with a second series called Battlestar Galactica 1980, where they landed on Earth and, uh, oh, 1980, and had some contemporary episodes. Um, it did not go over very well. They had new cast. Um, but anyway, moving on. We've met the enemy and he is us. Pogo. In fact, it's a uh, it's a pogo image 
recognizing the problems around environmental concerns as opposed to war. Um, an ocarina is a musical instrument. In fact, uh, you can hear it in the um, oh, classic song, Wild Thing. And of course, Tammy Faye and Jim Baker on the PTL Club. Okay, how did you do? Going to jump into round two, but I'll give you a moment to uh, talk among yourselves, tally your points. Yep, we try to have a mix of what I would call easier questions and more difficult ones. Um, I'm always looking for a, a curious question. Um, but sometimes my friends get a little bit frustrated with some of the questions because they're obscure. But in fact, uh, a lot of the questions, not looking for you to get 100%, but we don't want you to get the booby prize either. Okay, Shangri-La is a fictional place described in the 1933 novel called Probably you got that one, I'm guessing. Broadway Joe. We all remember Broadway Joe. Okay. Butterfield 8 starred which of the following? We had a lot of fun with this one when we played with our local folks here. J.C. Penney's full name was... I'm sure you shop there. What was his full name? The Stonewall Riots. Uh, this is a lengthy one, so I'll let you read through it. Stonewall Riots. The annual dog sled race that takes place on the trail between Anchorage and Nome. It is a race that pairs humans or mushers with their sled dogs as they make their way across well over 1,100 miles on some of the roughest, coldest wilderness in North America. It's called... And on we go. Which of these was not a musketeer? All musket well, obviously we don't have all the musketeers in this list, but each of the ones in the list was a musketeer except one. Although I won't vouch for later ones, certainly there have been a number of musketeers, but certainly among the originals, back in the day, your day and my day, which of these was not a musketeer? Yeah, I just thought of that as I was talking with you. Our 
answer here may in fact have been a musketeer in the later years, more recent years. But we're talking about the original musketeers, our musketeers. Okay, up. round two answers. Lost Horizon. Obviously a poster from the movie. Um, moving on. Yeah, you got this one. Broadway Joe was a football player. Interestingly, I lived in for Alabama for a while, um, near the University of Alabama, and um, uh, owned some lake property there. And right across the little inlet was a uh, property owned by Joe Namath. Now, I never did see him, um, but he was purported to uh, own a piece of property right across from me. And of course, Butterfield 8, starring Elizabeth Taylor. Actually, I got a complaint about this from one of our members, actually one of our best. He said he remembered the movie. Of course, he got the answer right. He said, I should have gotten the other ad. I don't know what the other ad is, but apparently it was more provocative and all these years stuck in his mind. So there is a more provocative Butterfield 8 ad out there. Moving forward, J.C. Penney's full name. The Stonewall Riots erupted after police raided a gay club located in Greenwich Village. And here's, here are images associated with that. Okay, the annual dog sled race, the Iditarod race. And finally, who is not a musketeer? Well, we don't know of a Ricky. The backstory on some of these people are kind of interesting. Um, some of them have fallen on hard times over the years. Some went on and had some interesting careers. You're probably aware of Annette. She ended up on the beach, you know, a number of beach pictures. Uh, her later life, uh, physical ailments, and subsequently died. Cubby went on to do some interesting things. Check them out. Okay, tally your points. And we'll go on to round three. Remington Steele was played by which actor? The word abstemious means what? Every once in a while I come across a word that um, is beyond me and I like to check them out and if they're interesting enough, throw them into the pot. Okay, hope I've given you enough time to read through this. Number three, another lengthy one. Harold von Braunhut created and marketed the eggs of a form of brine shrimp that when added to water and a special mixture of ingredients hatched, he is quoted as saying, I think I bought something like 3.2 million pages of comic book advertising a year. It worked beautifully. 
These were called what? Not the comic book pages, but rather the product he sold. Oh, wait a minute. Forgot my choices. Okay. When were the first Social Security withdrawals and payments made? Might be an easy question for you. Good, Bad, and the Ugly starred Clint Eastwood, Eli Wallach, and Okay. In the movie The Robe, the robe was originally the robe of Taunting is which? Moving on. Oh, that was question seven. Here we are. Pictures. Of course, Remington Steele, played by Pierce Brosnan. Not doing things that give you pleasure, especially not eating good food or drinking alcohol. Number three, Space Monkeys. If you read comic books, you saw Space Monkeys. In fact, here's a better picture of the ad itself. You too could have your own wonderful world of amazing live Space Monkeys. And of course, FDR, FDR said we put those payroll contributions there so as to give the contributors a legal, moral, and political right to collect their pensions and their unemployment benefits. With those taxes in there, no damn politician can ever scrap my Social Security program. Nineteen thirty-seven. Good, bad, and the ugly, Lee Van Cleef. And the movie The Robe, starring Richard Burton. We have um, Jesus is the owner of the robe, and this the robe being, of course, central to the story. Taunting. 
a fund going to the last living member of the group. It was kind of an insurance package in a sense. Uh, everybody threw in money into a pot, and as the various people died off, of course, uh, you were more likely to, if you weren't one of the ones dying off, you were more likely to get that pot of money late in life. Now, I've got Thomas Costain's picture here. He, in fact, wrote a novel called The Tontine, Tontine, and as a young person, I read the novel, in fact, read a number of his novels, including The Black Rose, which is another novel of his, so that's why the second image there. But anyway, and I would think even today for younger people, or you don't even have to be younger, I probably should myself go back and reread some of those. I would probably enjoy them this age. Anyway, Thomas Costain, The Tontine. Our bonus question, I'll give you a moment or two to tally your points so far, but then we'll move on to the bonus. We usually uh, give two points for the bonus. You're certainly welcome to do as you will. Okay, the bonus question. Dick's wife, that is the actor playing Dick's wife on the Dick Van Dyke show. Now, if we did this like Jeopardy, we would let you decide how many points you were going to play. In fact, maybe that's a good variation before you see the bonus question, because this one, I think, would be a pretty easy one for most people. Some of them are tough. Some of them are easy. Once in a while, they're a little devious. Okay, I'm sure you got this one. And, of course, Mary Tyler Moore. Okay, points. As I was saying early on, you can help support Keep Old Timers Trivia Alive by going to DonorBox or again, Patreon.com. Um, I was debating which, in fact, I should use. Sound like DonorBox would work, but then Patreon seemed to be a better one. So at this point, we're, we're both places. Um, also, you can visit us at Old Timer Store. Old Timer Store uh, focuses largely on comic book collectibles, but in fact, we have uh, comic book related collectibles. But we have a number of other things as well. Please pop in and see us in the evening. Obviously, you can just pick us up on YouTube, you can get on Facebook. I hope that you've subscribed. Um, to the YouTube channel. Um, as these come out, of course, you'll then be able to keep up with the series. And of course, don't forget, we've got the original edition, the challenge edition, and the quick edition. We'll look forward to seeing you in the next game.